let's read this question which is a question on conic section uh, so the question is find the equation of the tangent to the hyperbola x minus 5 squared over 16 plus y squared over 12 is equal to 1 at the point 7 comma 3 excuse me okay now uh, yeah to find the equation of a tangent equation of uh, a line this tangent is a line we need to find the gradient of that line okay so you can find the gradient of the line by finding the gradient function that means you have to differentiate this with respect to x okay so let me let me write like this so let me write the equation equation is x minus 5 squared over 16 plus y squared over 12 is equal to 1 so this is the equation of a hyperbola so i'm going to write now differentiating diff is differentiating with respect to x wrt stands for with respect to x that means i'm going to differentiate each of this with respect to x i'm going to use the the derivative operator so i'll write d by dx of x minus phi squared over 16 plus d by dx of y squared over 12 is equal to d by dx of 1. Okay, so we have differentiating this with respect to x. So I can take, uh, say, 1 over 16 out. So this is 1 16th of d by dx of x minus 5 squared. I can take the 1 12th out. So 1 12th of d by dx of, I'm writing more steps so that you understand. It is equal to d by dx of 1. In books, they directly give you the answer and you don't understand how they got it. Okay. Now here, when differentiating this function, you have to differentiate the inside first. Fortunately, the differentiation of the inside function is only 1. If you differentiate x, you get 1 and the differentiation of minus 5 is 0. So basically what you do is you treat this as a power function. So this is 1 16th times 1 is the differentiation of inside. I'll write the differentiation of inside. Then the outside function, treat it as a power function times 2 times x minus 5 to the power of 1. Okay. Plus 1 twelfth times. Now you're differentiating y squared with respect to x. So in other videos I've explained how to differentiate this. So this is called implicit differentiation. So differentiating y squared with respect to x, which is not possible. So basically we're using chain rule. So uh, when you're differentiating y squared with respect with respect to x, what you do is, uh, I'll, I don't have the time to go over implicit differentiation. Basically, you differentiate this, that is 2y, and then using chain rule, differentiate y, so that is times dy by dx. If this is confusing, I would like you to go and watch my videos on implicit differentiation. And d by dx of 1, or the derivative of 1, is 0. So let us simplify this, make it tidier. Therefore, this is 1 8. So 1 8 times x minus 5 plus this is 1 6 y. 1 6 y times dy by dx is equal to 0. Okay. Now, yeah, you can write this with respect in terms of dy by dx, but now at this step, we can write, uh, let me change color. So let me write that we, we got a point uh, 7 comma 3. Okay, so we can substitute this point in this equation. Okay, now we can write like this. Now, when x is 7, y is equal to 3. Okay, because the point is on the this point is on the hyperbola so you can substitute this in this equation so this is 1 8 
times 7 minus 5 plus 1 6 times 7 no I have done no, 1 7 1 6 times 3 okay oops 1 6 times 3 because y is not 7 y is 3 so this is y so once 1 6 times 3 times dy by dx is equal to 0 okay so this simplifies to 1 8 times 2 plus half times dy by dx is equal to 0 so this is 1 quarter plus half times dy by dx is equal to 0 so taking away 1 quarter from both sides so half times dy by dx is negative uh, negative 1 quarter okay and now multiplying both sides by 2 so let me do that step if you multiply this side by 2 you have to multiply this side by 2 so here what I did is I took away 1 quarter from this side so you have to take away 1 quarter from this side that's why I got this so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled so dy by dx is nothing but negative half or basically what what I was saying that the gradient therefore we can say the gradient of the tangent gradient of tangent at 7 comma 3 is equal to negative half okay therefore I can say equation of the tangent therefore equation of the tangent we know that we now know we know now the gradient is negative half so I can write the equation of the tangent would be y is equal to negative half x plus c okay so again I can substitute x let me change color now again I can substitute when x is 7 when x is uh, x is 7 y is equal to 3 so I can again put this back into this equation because this point is a common point on the hyperbola and the tangent so I can say 3 is equal to negative half times 7 plus c so 3 is equal to this is negative 3.5 plus c so if you add 3.5 to this side you add 3.5 to this side so c is nothing but 6.5 so or uh, this is this is equal to 13 over 2 so the equation of the tangent is y is equal to negative half x plus 13 over 2. So this is the equation of the tangent. I would like to do one more example of this type, uh, which is this question. I would like you to look at this question and try to do it uh, yourself. And uh, once I, uh, then you can listen to my next video, which is on this question where the question is you have got a curve defined by x is equal to 9 cos theta plus 2 and y is 9 sine theta so you want to find the equation of the tangent to this curve at the point when theta is pi by 2 so this is a parametric equation and you want to find again the equation of the tangent see you in the next video